Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Akira. This is Megumi. Um, thank you so much for attending our special workshop. Uh, you know, uh, we're talking about um, uh, the uh, you know one of the most famous uh, um, noodles in the world. Uh, that's um, Hong Kong style uh, in Wanda noodles. I mean, many of customers like ask us, you know, how can we make how we can make like uh, Hong Kong style egg noodle, noodles before you know, from scratch, right? And then um, well, a lot of people are like, still asking us, you know, how to make them. So, you know, why not, um, you know, do it on this uh, workshop. So, um, uh, Megumi is going to make um, them, make these noodles like from scratch on our Richmond Gold 2 machine, which is the most advanced uh, noodle machine we have, right? And then, uh, but, you know, before, you know, making them, um, you know, I want to explain, right, how um, these uh, Hong Kong egg wonton noodles are you know structured um but what's important like in this type of noodle is like you know the eggs right eggs um it's a very good uh, bulb uh, noodles and then once you try them you know you can never forget about it you know so it's a has like very distinctive noodle texture um and then you know we, we've been making like our version of them like you know for uh, quite a while so like we have uh couple of uh, different types versions but like uh, you know including wonton and the soup right but today we are focusing on like just noodles okay um so why don't i dive into some slides that i made right um for i uh, you know these uh wonton noodles to explain how these noodles are made out right in the ingredient ingredients so um and after that like maybe is gonna make uh, them in uh, um, our original go to machine of course was, okay so let's get started um there's some uh, technical issues um, um, currently, so and then I we can't we can't uh, show you guys the slides, um, you know, um, on the screen. So it's a very cumbersome. Um, but like, uh, just bear with me, right? Uh, I, I'll try my best explaining, um, you know, how these noodles are made, right? Uh, when talking about egg noodles, right, um, you know, we, we have, uh, well, in Japan, we usually make um, egg noodles using, um, you know, eggs in powder form, right, dry powder form, because, um, you know, we Japanese are kind of afraid of, uh, well, getting infected, um, you know, with the summer virus, right, so we usually use, like, eggs in powder form, like, in noodle production, but, uh, you know, don't worry about, um, you know, we can use fresh eggs, right, in fact, uh, Hong Kong style uh, wonton egg noodles use um, duck eggs, you know, duck eggs. But like, um, I know duck eggs like are not readily available in your region, right? And then maybe way more expensive than, you know, chicken eggs, right? So feel free to use chicken eggs, right? Um, you know, so we just dive in, uh, we'll just right at dive into, um, um, you know, the um, recipes of uh, Hong Kong style egg noodles, right? And then, um, so basically, uh, fresh eggs, right? We use fresh eggs, right? So we crack the uh, eggs, right? And then, you know, we uh, weigh the eggs to 41% um, to the weight of the flour, right? And the can 1%, salt 1%, and then I'm, more, I'm gonna talk more about this um, recipe in more details later, but, um, you know, eggs are very important, right? As the ingredients in this, uh, type of uh, noodles and then you know we want to um, understand more about eggs right in more detail right so nutrient wise um eggs have like 75 percent water right 12.2 percent protein right 10.2 percent fat then 1.0 percent ash right and then um you know we want to understand right uh eggs you know um then we want to break it into two parts, you know, liquid and solid. So, you know, we talked about like egg powders, right? Egg powders, um, you, we can use egg powders as well, like in this, to make this type of noodles as well. Um, you know, by adding like three to 3.5 times water to it, right? We can make, um, you know, back to, make them back to like original liquid eggs, right? So, um, usually in Japan, right, we use, uh, you know, um, eggs in powder form, right? Um, these are used for like pastries, bakeries, you know, um, and then noodle making, um, you know, more convenient than uh, fresh eggs. But fresh eggs, you know, definitely taste better, 
but uh, it's just convenient and easy to use for um, beginners. But uh, if, and then again, like you know, for use of fresh eggs may carry a risk of uh, you know infecting um, uh, some of the virus, right? So, but um, definitely you, you can use the chicken eggs, right? And the fresh, you know, chicken eggs. And then you know we usually use chicken, uh, fresh chicken eggs, like to make uh, Hong Kong style egg noodles too. So um, just free, free to use them. Um, so we usually use uh, three types of eggs, like in um, um, you know, in noodle making, right? Egg white, egg yolk, right? Um, the whole egg, right? We're using egg white. Uh, basically, it carries like a water resistant quality, and then you know it's definitely high protein. Um, mostly protein, right? Most protein comes from the egg white. So, and then that's why, because uh, of the high protein, um, it gets pretty hard, right? When cooked, right? You have, uh, you know, you know, like, you know, the egg white part, like, you know, when you boil egg, right? Uh, hard boiled egg, um, the egg white, you know, as a like, kind of bouncy, like kind of hard texture. That's the kind of uh, texture, you know, we can add to our noodles. Egg yolk, um, strong egg flavor, uh, you know, yellow color, right? And then um, whole egg, right? Um, it's you know, both both uh, both like egg yolk and egg uh, white. So egg, add egg flavors and then yellow color, um, and then gives hardness, right? You know, um, so, but uh, in this Hong Kong style egg noodles, right? We use whole eggs, right? Whole eggs, okay? And then. Um, Proportional liquid and solid. Um, this is very important to uh, understand when you know uh, making our recipe for uh, Hong Kong style egg noodles, because the liquid percentage, right? Um, for white, 88%. Right, yolk, you know, 42%. So combining both together, uh, whole eggs, uh, 76%. But like you know, part of home eggs, right? Only liquid uh, percentage, like white, seven percent, uh, yolk, three percent, and the whole, four point five percent. So very dry, you know, part of home. But you can see the fresh eggs, uh, whole eggs, you know, seventy six percent liquid. This is very important, you know, uh, when structuring our recipe, because I'm um, going back to the first recipe we talked about, right? Um, Hong Kong style, uh, one. Egg water noodles, right? Uh, so fresh eggs to the um, 10 kilograms uh, wheat flour, 41%, uh, so 4.1 kilograms we'll right, be adding. And then kansi 1%, 0 0.1 kilo, right? Salt, 1%, and then, you know, 100 grams, right? But you know, calculating this into uh, the liquid percentage, right? Um, because 76% is liquid, right? The whole egg, right? So it's actually, um, actual hydration ratio comes down to, well, so liquid, you know, percentage is actually 3.321 kilograms, right? And then, you know, we need to add like 23.9% uh, of the um, whole egg uh, weight to uh, solid ingredients, right? So. So, so the ingredients weight is actually 10.98 kilograms. So actual hydration ratio is at, you know, 30.2%. So 30.2%, well, that's, that's like a, almost like low hydration noodle, right? So, um, you know, this is how we, like these are variables like we need to, we wanna uh, remember when uh, structuring our, constructing, you know, our noodle recipes, but like, you know, protein, corn and flour, um, then viscosity or like um, um, uh, um, <laughs> sorry a viscosity value right of uh, uh, wheat starch right um, then hydration um, noodle size right thin or thick um, and then straight or curly right um, so these are variables like we want to remember when constructing the uh, recipes right so remember like you know so um, Hong Kong style egg noodles is actually low hydration. Uh, noodles. Another thing I want to kind of point out, right, is that like about this uh, Hong Kong style egg noodles, is that like, um, you know, production costs, right? So this is how we calculate our production costs, you know, our noodle production costs and labor, ingredients, utility costs, right? Um, so regular fresh noodle, uh, ramen noodles, right, right uh, may cost you, 
you know, it really depends on like kind of ingredients you use, you know, on the labor cost. Um, but like usually like, um, you know, 27 cents per uh, serving, right? Um, and then in terms of uh, Hong Kong style uh, egg noodles, right? Uh, you know, ingredients like a little bit more because of the eggs. Um, so that's like, you know, 33 cents per serving, right? But you, you may be able to charge a you know, premium, right, uh, price for this type of eggs because, you know, um, it, it, this is kind of rare uh, type of noodles that uh, people come across. So, um, but usually, like, it just, you know, um, this is how we calculate the cost, right? So, uh, allow me to talk a little bit about Richmond Gold 2 as well, like in this uh, uh, slides. Um, so, we go to this like very, you know, versatile, you know, easy to use, um, and then it, it has like, because of the um, built-in noodle making artisan techniques, um, you know, so these are the strength, right? That's why like it's chosen um, for, you know, using, use of, using, um, being used in uh, a micro noodle factory uh, businesses. So, easy to use, right? Um, first of all, like it's a low height, right? So, you know, because of, uh, it's a lot of uh, heavy weight, right, um, that, you know, you need to um, lift up, like, uh, ingredients, like, every day. So, um, you know, so we, we design this, these machines, right? You know, a silky mixer, 25 kilo silky mixer is, like, usually using combination with the Richmond Gold 2, but uh, both of these machines are, like, designed, like, you know, a low height so that, you know, you don't have to do the heavy lifting uh, so much. Right, um, you know, we're talking about like, you know, 50 pounds uh, flour bag, right? You know, every single day, like every single time, like you have to like lift it up, right? All the uh, way up to like, you know, uh, I don't know how high the other conventional machines are, but the, you know, but in this, uh, in these machines, like it's like um, 34 inches high, you know, that's like really low. Then uh, one thing is that like automatic feeder, uh, as Richmond Go to has, right? So in conventional machines, you have to feed the dough like manually by hand, and then sometimes like you don't know how much you feed, you know, how much you need to feed, right? On the timing, you know, um, then that kind of screws up the whole like a process of like uh, making the clean dough. But you know, Richmond Go to has, you know, can just automatically do it, and then. It has the sensing capability to, you know, measure how much dough is going, you know, being fed to the roller. So it know it it knows that, like, okay, you know, it has to like, you know, uh, speed uh, down the conveyor belt or not, like, speed up the conveyor belt, right? So it can regulate the speed of conveyor belt to, like, you know, how, you know, um, just feed the right amount of dough at a time, right? And then another thing is that, like, um, you know, so. It's, it has this like um, conveyor belt that carries the noodles out, right? And then it's set that like pretty, I mean, really high position from the ground. It's like 55 centimeters from the ground. So, you know, you can put um, the a chair in front of it, right? Like, you know, just regular folding chair in front of it. And then uh, you can sit in it and then, you know, just catch, him, uh, catch noodles coming out of the machine, right? comfortably right so you don't hurt your back like you know in the awkward position for a long time um and then it can you can control pretty much everything like on the touch panel um you know you can set the roller gap you can set the roller speed and you can see everything that's going on you know on the machine during operation right so it's uh easy to use and then versatility right um you can make you know variety of uh noodles you know in different sizes shapes and then um yeah this chart like basically explains right different types of noodles that you know richmond gold to can make right is capable of making and then you know compared to conventional pasta machines right um richmond gold to can is is very versatile in terms of like, um, you know, high duration range, um, you know, this machine is capable of covering, right? Um, between like 25% and 45% in high duration ratio. Um, you know, compared to like conventional pasta, that's just capable of like making noodles that are like only, you know, 
and the 36 percent hydration ratio you know so it's like way more uh, capable of like making you know um, way more types of noodles right including um, you know low hydration noodles is uh, actually very hard to make um, you know it's very uh, you know very heavy load right on the noodle machines um, usually making this type of noodle like you know breaks uh, conventional pasta machine like in a short period of time because um, the conventional pasta machines like I just have like, like very smaller very small uh, ro rollers right so the you know the processing low hydration dough um, is very heavy on the uh, small rollers right um, so you know it just breaks these rollers like in a short period of time right and they just come as machines like don't die like all of a sudden like without giving a sign you know um beforehand so you know all of a sudden we are left with uh you know broken pass machines but you know you you need to like open your business like tomorrow so you don't know what to do like and then you get freaked out like all of a sudden right so um but anyway so low hydration noodle we're talking about you know including um you know hong kong guantan egg noodles and you know the most um, popular type of ramen noodles, the Hakata tonkotsu um, noodles, right? So, um, yeah. So why rain uh, hydration cover? Like you know, as you can see in the picture, um, yeah, the condition of those like so different, right? You know, low hydration to high hydration uh, noodles, right? It's so very uh, versatile. You know, variety of ingredients you can make, it's capable of making, right? Uh, as you can see in this picture, um, it's very easy to make, um, you know, these different colorful um, dough um, by, you know, just adding these um, ingredients, right? You know, flavored ingredients in uh, mixing process to make these doughs. And lastly, right, um, so built-in um, noodle making artisan technique, you know, it's all, um, Ease of use is like is that made possible with this um, these uh, technologies that are like you know um, installed like built into this uh, machine, right? So worked out properly uh, with that regulated roller speed, right? We, you know I talk about it like um, effectively um, door development and then you know um, fast speed, right? So like it, it just kind of knows um, when to speed up, when to slow down, right? So, you know, it has this like algorithm almost like that, you know, that regulates the speed of the roller, uh, speed of conveyor belt. And then uh, it optimizes the gluten development right, without damaging it. Um, so it automatically adjusts the roller gap, right? Um, so it knows, you know, when to, well, widen the roller gap, uh, you know, um, narrows the roller gap. And then compounding process. Um, so compounding process, like basically you're know, working in a dough, right? It's kind of like work out to you know develop a muscle um, for ideal uh, noodle texture, right? So you know compounding process, like you know, um, is can be done uh, is done um, with the like uh, well um, least amount of effort that you can put right into the um, production process, um, which we go to like is built has you know this capability these capabilities built into it um so you know making your everyday daily noodle making um production like much much easier and then you know it's it's very nice for you guys to be able to, like watch how these machines work right um you know remotely on this video but uh you know it's best to for you guys to like you know go uh and actually you know, uh, experience this machine, right, in person. So, um, you know, for those of you who are watching from Europe, right, um, you know, we have, uh, yeah, showroom in uh, Amsterdam, Netherlands, right? And then we happen to have, you know, these workshops, special workshop like set up uh, this month, right? Um, 12th and then 20th and it's 27th uh, of this uh, month, right? And then, you know, <laughs> And the attendance is just 50 euro, right, per person. Uh, that's a steal, right, for the well, that kind of content we have uh, for you. To, and then um, the best part of it is that, like, you know, you can actually try, you know, this noodle, right, uh, in person. Like, you know, I mean, 
yeah, you can see like how these neurons are made right from scratch, but you, you know, it's impossible for you to like, you know, experience like how good, how tasty these noodles are, right? So, you know, 50 euros per person is a steal uh, for you to go and then try these noodles, right? And then try Richmond Go to machine in person. And then for those before watching from the United States, right? Uh, or, you know, Canada, somewhere in North America, uh, or maybe like uh, Mexico or somewhere. Um, yeah, we have a uh, you know, showroom in Houston, Texas. Um, you know, and then, yeah, Again, like we have a special workshop uh, happening this month, right? Uh, later this month, uh, 27th and 28th, right? And then just attendance fee is just $60, right? 60 US dollars like per person, like, the, you know, again, that's a uh, steal, right? Um, you know, it's a no brainer for you to go and uh, try um, these Hong style noodles and then um, make one of the noodles and then uh, you know Richmond Gold 2 that we have available for demo and everything uh, you know at our uh, showroom uh, in Houston Texas so um, yeah we have uh, these pages set up right for you to sign up um, for uh, these workshops so please uh, go to our website yamatonoodle.com to uh, sign up for your seat uh, you know before we run out uh, you know our uh, you know seats that's limited number of seats available so you know please hurry up and uh, sign up for your seat right all right so uh why don't we show you guys Richmond Go 2 and then uh show you guys how we can make this uh onko style iguana noodles okay <clears throat> yeah um so you know i know you guys are busy so like you know to save you guys time um Make me prepare uh, the dough in advance, right? And as much as we wanted to show you guys how uh, the missing pearls done, but I know you guys are busy, so uh, in this workshop uh, we, you know, just went ahead and uh, yeah, made the dough. So again, you know, even though the weight-wise, right, it's forty-one percent, right to the weight of the flour, you know, the egg, amount of egg like we add to the flour, right? But the condition dough, right, is definitely like, you know, 30%, 31%, you know, because of the the solid ingredients and liquid ingredients, we, uh, you know, want, you know, we break the egg composition into, right? So 76% uh, liquid, you know, 24% uh, solid, right? So, so, She's setting the initial water gap, right, to a millimeter. It's very easy to do it, like in the touch panel. So, yeah, we're starting broker. And then, um, so the first process is, uh, you know, we want, we just, we just like turning this Brambles dough right into um, dough sheet, right? So it's like you know one millimeter is like very thin, right? And if we are turning it, this dough into you know this sheep shaped dough, we call this process like rough forming, and then you know that as the name suggests, like it's the dough itself like still pretty rough, right? Uh, fragile. Because you know, I kind of we are forcing this dough right into you know a sheet shaped dough and it's still pretty fragile. So um, and again, like you know, Richmond Go Two knows um, you know. It, it can't. It shouldn't be, um, you know, going at a fast speed in this process. So it's going uh, slow, slowly, like on purpose, because we want to in this process, like we want to apply um, good, good pressure, right, on the dough um, to, you know, develop the gluten structure, right, inside dough, and then, you know, for, you know, this. Um, distinctive noodle texture uh, that the uh, Hong Kong style one egg noodles has, right? And then, so we made it into 
the this sheet of dough, right? As you can see, like it's still you know, pretty, pretty rough, right, and fragile. And then, um, so next for us, like what we want to do is to, um, uh, yeah, separate it, right, into two sheets, <coughs> two sheets, right. And then, um, you know, we want to combine them, combine them, right, by feeding them into a roller, right. <coughs> With a mounted roller. Um, Okay, um, and then, um, so, she, so, as you, well, she just pushed this button, right, that says uh, combining process, right, and, and then, you know, we can go to adjust the roll gap, right, accordingly, like, you know, appropriately for this, um, Round of uh, rolling, right? So, in conventional machine, right, you have you have to know, right, um, the formula of uh, you know adjusting the roll gap for this process. But uh, this Richmond Go Two, um, you know, you just need to know that uh, you need to push this button, right? So, you know, you don't have to do it. Like if if you're like letting like your you know newly hired worker do this right and then you, you can just have like you know kind of very simple uh, manual or checklist um you know put on wall right and then you know the worker can just look at it and see you know then okay yeah i just need to push this button and then you know and he or she do doesn't have to do anything right just wait for this process to be done right so pretty much you can um, put anybody you know, without any experience or skills on this, uh, um, you know, task, and then produce, produce, um, you know, the same quality of uh, noodles that like other, you know, professionals, you know, uh, highly skilled workers can make. Yeah, so oh, having which go to is like having, um, you know, noodle making and cheese in the new kitchen. Or factory, right? So, and then so right, it's really doing combining process, right? Um, then it's it's usually done twice, right? Um, so for one time, one time, and then second time um, to make sure that uh, you know we have uh, this uh, you know distinctive noodle texture that. Uh, you know, you you can't forget once you try them, right? So second time, uh, combine process. And some people ask me, like, you know, okay, well, if uh, command process, uh, well, you know, creates this uh, better texture, then why not doing, um, you know, three times, uh, four times, right? But, uh, you know, we, we did experimentation, you know, um, before, and then we found out that, like, well, the two times is, like, like you know, optimal um, number of uh, combined process, like, you know, we can do to develop a uh, good uh, noodle texture so so one to two times is uh, uh you know the amount of a uh, number of times that uh, you can do a combined process to make the best uh, noodle texture including this uh, hong kong style uh, one noodles And then again, right, we can go to just kind of regulating the speed of roller, right? Um, you know, to appropriate uh, speed for this uh, process. So you, you don't have to worry about it. Um, you just, you know, just let the machine do the job.
And then, um, so from this point on, uh, we want to turn on the duster. We'll turn on the duster to, um, yeah, start dusting on the <clears throat> dough, you know, from seeking. Yeah, even though the um, Hong Kong style one egg noodles is like kind of considered like low hydration, the low meat hydration noodles, uh, you know, we want to dust, dust it to make sure that it's not going to stick, right? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, this one has has um, this dusting automatic duster um, that's usually set uh, the rear of the machine to dust the dough. And then you can control the amount of dusting you want to do, right? Um, so basically, higher the hydration, right? The low, I mean, more, more you, you know, you want to dust, right? To prevent it from sticking. <coughs> Um. Yeah, so and then you know, was speeding speeding up the um, roller, you know, speed. Roller speed because the um, you know, gluten structure has been developed, right? Fully developed, so we you know, we can go fast to for uh, yeah more efficiency, right? So. <laughs> And then um, just want to check the thickness, right? Okay, it's 1.7 millimeter after it's gone through 1.3. So um, the actual thickness is a little bit bigger than the uh, rural gap that we set, right? You know, because it, it bounces back. Then um, yeah, we're we're cutting it, and then um, so. It bounces back by 0.4 millimeter, right? So you know we set the roller gap to 0.6. Um, so we expect the roller uh, the thickness to bounce back by 0.4. So you know the final thickness we expect it to be um, 1.0, right? So it's a very thin noodle, right? So we are using this cutter um, number 30 round round shape. Uh, number 30 is like 1.0, 1.0 millimeter. So it's a very thin um, noodle, right? So as, as you saw on that chart, right? As you saw on the chart, um, you know, it's a hard noodle, it's a hard noodle. So, you know, we want to make it thin, right? Uh, to uh, have a, you know, good uh, noodle texture. For hard noodle, like we want to make it thin. You know, um, if it's soft, uh, if it's soft and thin, and then that's not good. And then if it's, uh, um, you know, hard and thick, that's not a good uh, noodle texture, right? Yeah, so Hong Kong style iguana noodles. Um, in our version, we are doing, um, you know, 1.0, right? 1.0 millimeter, but like, uh, you know, there may be like even thinner versions as well they even like harder you know versions so okay noodles are coming out and then um see it's very thin right and then uh um and then you can adjust the uh serving size pretty easily by the length as well and then see like you know make me is like just sitting in the chair right and they're just catching the noodles right like you know it's very comfortable and then you know it's very eye-catching, right? So imagine like if you um, put this Richmond Gold Two, like right, um, you know where you know your customers can see, right, the glass wall or something, and then you know showing um, how you guys make noodles right from scratch, and then 
you know, it's it's a nice uh, showcasing uh, and you know piece of uh, equipment like beautiful equipment to have like in uh, inside your factory, inside your restaurant, right? And then you know because it gives the customer your customers like a, a sense of safety, right? Because um, you you're making um, you know what they're eating like from scratch, and then um, and then you know. It kind of excites them, like you know, entertains them, like um, because uh, you know, yeah, just you know, noodles are made like you know, in front of the eyes, in front of the eyes, like uh, noodles they're about to eat. So and then you know, you 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 can even like probably like um, you know, make the noodles on demand or something, right? Uh, you know, made you know, made to order. So that's very you know, fresh. You know, there's nothing fresher than that, right? So, um, it's very good. So it's a very thin noodle and very yellow, right? And then um, you know they um, turn uh, the color, right? And the noodle texture um, turns, uh, oh, it changes over time. Like it, when you do the um, resting process, like in the refrigerator. Yeah. So please try them um you know in, a, in one day and uh, two days you know then just find the best uh condition we are conquering one of noodles that you want to serve to your customers right so it's very easy um and you can make them crawly too like with these um using a simple tool um it's which we go to so yeah so yeah, this is how you can make uh, you know Hong Kong your own like uh, Hong Kong egg one and noodles, right? Yeah. And then, so again, like you know, rich man goal to like you know this design very low, right? So it's a uh, very easy, you know, you know, makes very you know production of Hong Kong egg one and noodles very much easier on your workers, right? It's every really thing, right? You you know. You let your workers do like do it like every day. So uh, your workers they you know, appreciate it, and then um, you know you can retain many um, you know most of your workers right. Um, in this era of like uh, you know uh, hard time uh, you know getting uh, highly skilled labor right. Um, having rich people to like makes it really easy to you know for your um, HR situation uh, to you know. Just uh, you know, hire like you know, uh, inexperienced workers, right? To use, uh, you know, for your um, you know, noodle production, and then um, very popular, the famous uh, Hong Kong noodle, uh, right? For your business, so uh, that's what we have for uh, this uh, workshop. But uh, you know, make sure to go to our website to sign up for uh, you know, our special workshop or even like private demos, right? Uh, we can do private demos in our Houston office and then, you know, Amsterdam office as well. So um, please sign up for a workshop or like, you know, um, ask us to do uh, for the private demo. OK. All right. So that's why we had uh, for this workshop. So also, thank you so much for um, you know, uh, watching. And then um, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And then, uh, you know, hit the uh, like button if you uh, like this kind of content. Um, Next Friday, uh, we are doing um, on Daizu or like a soybean, um, you know, noodles to like uh, this is healthy noodle that we are, you know, making again, like on uh, the next Friday. So please sign up for the workshop too. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know, hope to see you back in the next workshop. So thank you so much. Bye bye.